I'm going to be making the same scratch game three times. One minute, one hour, and one day. The idea I had for this game is a Fall Guys 2D platformer. A character able to move right into the end crown. Let's start. We're going to make a bean over here. We're going to make this like a purple bean. We're going to duplicate this. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to say U1. We're going to go over here. We're going to take out all the blocks we need. We need two of these. We need one of these. We need one of these. We're going to put this together right now. We're going to go to motion. We need one of these. We need one of these. Uh, then we can create the new sprite. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. We can do when I receive broadcast this thing. We can hide it. And then we go to this. If we go to this. We can zoom out. We can put this over here and make this like the yellow crown thing. And then we can go back over here and we can do the sensing block and say if sensing sprite 2. Is that right? Yeah, right. To oh no, the timer ran out. Bro, wait, does this work? This could actually work. Hold up. Okay, so you're there, right? You can move by 10x. Hold up, if this works. Wait, wait, is this gonna work? It works! Wait, but you can't see the you win text. Hey, it doesn't matter. I still, I still technically made the game. Honestly, I think I did really well for a minute. It was insanely harder than I thought, and that might not have been the first take. A fully playable scrolling platform game with character physics, enemies, and one fully built level. Let's start. I'm going to be using this um, scrolling platform engine from a friend, so let's start the timer. Okay, so we have one hour to make this game. I think I'm going to focus on the art at the beginning. So we're going to make like a Fall Guys bean thing. Okay, so I finished the art. I think it's looking pretty good. And we can just make this like a nice blue fade, kind of like it is in the game. Okay, so that's done. And I'm going to finish art, and I'll come back once I've finished all the art. Okay, so I finished the ground level. I made this nice yellow and white kind of design. So I think it's looking pretty good. We can make the end portal. For the end portal, I think we're going to do, like, a crown. Because, like, at the end, you collect the crown. Okay, so this is the crown. Spent about two three minutes on that i think we'll add some obstacles i feel like a gate would be like a cool little cool little thing we can add i decided not to do the gates because i don't know why that wasn't working so i think we're going to do some fans and then i think we're going to do some um slow conveyors okay so let's see if that works so yeah that's dragging us back so we can do maybe a negative point three Okay, that's good. And then we need a fan. So we can duplicate this. We can call this fan. We can make a quick fan real quick. Is this going to work? Okay, so you can go in there. You can go up here. The fan is there, though. So you don't want the fan. So you're going to have to drop down and take the bottom path. Okay, so the bumper, I think we should do things right there. Little thing right there, little thing right there, little thing right there. Okay, and then it looks like it's like a nice reddish plum color. I don't know what that is, reddish plum color. Okay, that looks actually really nice. Is that just me or does that look really nice? I think that's just me. So right now when we hit it, it doesn't do anything. But I think we should say, to make like a little bounce effect. Ooh. Okay, so I like that, actually. You have to jump in between them, or they will push you back. Okay, and then that's the fan, and the fan pushes you back more. What if we did the fan? What if we maybe made this smaller? Right now it looks so weird. Oh my gosh, I don't know why it looks like that. Alrighty, let's see if that works. So you have these, you have these things. You can either do them or not, but then you realize, oh, you have the fan there. How are you going to get around the fan? You can't get around the fan. So that is like a false path. And then over here, it looks pretty good, right? You have like this, the slow area. What if we made the slow area slower? Yes. That is a very good idea. All right, so I feel like we need one more obstacle. We'll make this the windscreen. You win. Oh, but wait, it's not completely filled make this white or something okay i think we need obstacles to make you lose right so that, those are just obstacles that stop you 
I think we need maybe a couple obstacles that make you, like, fall off. Uh, oh, the spike logs. Those are actually cool. What if we were to recreate one of the spike lot, one of those? Maybe that's too bright. And then is there, like, okay, then there's, like, some, like, white things at the top. But that's, like, the shadow stuff. So maybe we can do a, maybe we can do a little of it and see if it works. Boom, that's beautiful spike. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to erase that. And we can just do if touching, um, if touching, uh, level two. Actually, let's change this to, um, spike. This is the only case in which a spike is not generic, right? That's pretty good. Now you go here, you hit that spike, you respawn. I think we're going to improve this fan quality thing right here real quick. Hopefully that'll look a little better. This is going to be like the death animation thing. Okay, that looks pretty good, actually. So that honestly looks pretty, pretty good. The death animation is simple, but I kind of like it like that, honestly. It kind of looks good. In the fan, I'm actually going to add a little, like, maybe like a teensy little uh, purple thing. And that is all the time we have. We did one hour. We made the game. You see some spikes that um, will kill you or make you reset. And then that nice black death animation. You can go up here to this other path. You have the bumpers that bump you backwards, um, just like in the actual Fall Guys game. And then once you go over here, this is actually like a trick path. It knocks you backwards a little bit, so you can't go past it. So that's really cool. So then you're forced to go all the way back to this. Oh, we died again. Okay, so at the slow part, um, it makes you slower. Not much to say about that. Then at the end, you collect the crown to win, and it says you win. That's it for part one. Part two with the one day challenge will come shortly. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to know when part two comes out.